But what happens if we add another load? The beam remains the same, simply supported, resting in quiet balance, but this time, there isn't just one load, there are two. Point loads, identical, placed symmetrically from each end. The beam doesn't complain, it adapts, the reactions adjust. Half of the total load to the left, the other half to the right. A new balance, but just as fair. The shear force again starts at the reaction value, forming a first step. It moves flatly, and just beneath the first load, it drops. Reaching zero, it continues, calm to the second load, and drops again. Each load leaves its mark with a clean step, like signposts along the way. And the bending moment? Ah, the moment. It starts at zero and rises with a smooth slope, following the positive shear rate. It reaches a peak and holds, it no longer increases. The slope is zero, so the moment stays level. When it reaches the next load, it begins to fall, gracefully, obeying the negative shear slope. There is no chaos, only structural logic, because when the load changes, the story changes too. But the beam, true to its design, always finds a way to carry on.